Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jeremy here with OCE Recycling. This is my first video on YouTube. I'm very excited to be here, but I'm not going to have any delay. We're just going to dive right in. Uh, today I have for you an HP Pavilion A1123C. I'll be taking that apart, showing you guys what's on the inside. Uh, for those of you who don't know already, my channel will be about scrapping electronics and kind of giving you a brief look on what's on the inside. Maybe giving you some insight on why you should recycle these instead of just throwing them away and why you should care about them after you buy them. Uh, these things are filled with a lot of metals that you can recycle that can be recovered. They're filled with a lot of chemicals that harm our environment. So without any delay, I'm just going to start taking it apart. Alrighty guys, so I got the camera zoomed in here. I'm just going to speed up the video and play some music in the background just to make it more pleasing to watch. So hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so we got our heat sink with the fan attached. We'll just take that off later on. Well, this video is going to be about just two parts. Right now I'm just going to take apart the computer, show you what's on the inside, and then later on in a separate part I'll take you down closer look into what the circuit boards and the power, drop, power supply and the hard drive and all that, and I'll show you what's inside those as well. But for now, let's just get this computer taken apart. There's a little fan. So, there's our power supply. Uh, you can either leave this as is, or you can take it apart and separate what's inside. Usually it's only worth it just to cut the wires off, keep this as is. Big old hunk of plastic. Uh, let's see. Does have some mark markings here. As you can see, this is ABS plastic. I don't know how well that's focusing, but um, yeah. Can pretty much be recycled with all the other plastics, and this is pretty much all plastic. I would just remove any screws if you plan on doing that. Okay, now we can take this stuff out. We got our hard drive here. This is a Max Tor, hmm, 250 gigs. Max Tor 250 should be right around there. 250 gigs is kind of the limit to selling them, but for educational purposes, I'll be taking this one apart for you guys. Rip all these wires out. Some kind of peripheral input box. There's probably not much in there. Just probably some gold in the pins there and obviously the wire. This is like a memory card input. It's got the nice board in there. That'll be worth taking a look. There's probably some nice gold pins for all those inputs. got a DVD-ROM drive. They're always kind of neat to take apart, but it's still a lot of junk in there. <laughs> and a DVD read-write and CD read-write drive. That'll also be pretty cool to take apart. Once again, I'll be showing all this stuff to you guys on the inside. Uh, we'll be taking a much closer look, so I'm not going to get to it in this video. We're already at 10 minutes, so... are beautiful motherboards are my favorite part let's see we got a slot card here not terrible a nice little up close shot real quick because I don't know about you guys but this is why I do it it's just amazing this kind of stuff and all these are just millions of little switches that go on and off ridiculous how just a billion of those switches can make your computer work. 
some wire. These wires are always nice. Good gold pins in those. I'll show you that later on. We got some RAM here, two sticks. Let's see. 512 megabytes each. Not good at all. <laughs> but we won't be selling them. These will be scrap. However, you can see it's got some nice gold plating on the fingers there, all along the back. I don't know how well you can see it, but once we get inside, you'll be able to see it really well under the magnifying lens. So we'll wait on those. Okay. And aside from this, this thing right here, which I'll just take off just because. All this thing is, is just the tactile switch to turn on the computer. And accompanied with that is just some LEDs and some wiring. So, take that wire. If you really want to, you can rip out that tactile switch for the little bit of silver, but... Uh, that looks like it's going to be a pain in the buttocks, so that could just be recycled as plastic. And then for this empty shell, that's just the uh, scrap steel. I'll pretty much just throw everything else that is scrap steel back into here. Like after I rip off these wires and stuff like that, this piece will go in there. Uh, this piece here can go back in there. And I also have some other steel in the house. I'll fill this up and then I'll put the cover back on. That's a nice way for you to uh, send it off to your scrapyard, just a big box of steel like that. And it makes it easier for you and there's no weight that needs to be teared. So, nice little tip. And uh, that's pretty much it for the computer scrap, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, make sure you like, uh, leave me some feedback, subscribe. Any kind of support is always welcome. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Hope